Yo, mic check, mic check, visuals check, visuals check, visual check one, visual check two, visual check, visual check. Too far over. Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? <clears throat> what's good, fam? Yo, man. So I wanted to start this new series of just like, you know, just hanging out, man. Like I'm like in a time where I'm not really chilling with like too many people. So I was like, yo, it would be cool to have a, like a little nice little series like chilling once or twice a week right now. Uh, maybe less, maybe more. So, yeah, just wanted to go over some, some of the ideals that I've been like doing and like just some of like the stuff that I just see just going on right now so how's your day been pretty chill cool fine that's that's good that's good <laughs> I'm, I'm talking all loud because I, I forget I have a mic and I keep thinking I got to project my voice to reach you guys but I don't really have to Project my my mosaic all that much. So let me looking over some of the ideals that I had. Some of these like dream collaborations. Yeah. So um. One of, one of my like lines that I'm like developing is called Eastern, sort of like a Eastern European Patagonia type deal where I'm just like, I just like developing like, like I come from a cold state, so I just like developing like outerwear, stuff of that nature. So I'm like, yo, let me uh, develop something that's like, like, um, like a cool, a cooler version of like a Patagonia line, bro. Like that sounds cool to me. Like plastic Birkenstock mules, you know, and things of that nature. It just seemed like super cool to me. Like that's like just what I'm on. Like let me show you real quick. Like, like these ones I have right here. Like these ones. Like I guess I swear I said this ideal like years ago, but like, man, like these. These are just like so comfortable. Like the other ones are like they're comfortable, but they're a little bit more heavier than than like you would imagine. So the fact that they made them plastic and like they're just like on the go 
You know, like America is like convenience. I'm a person who grew up in like the the Levi brands, the Gap brands, the Old Navy brands, like very, you know, just like American calm fashion. Like that is like my ideal style of like, it's just like jeans and a t-shirt is quality to me. You know, like all the other brands like have the best art directors and it's a whole nother word, like just manifestation. But like when I see a girl walking in like jeans and a tee, I'm just like, wow. So that's that's kind of like where I'm like headed to with the line. Like, where can I take jeans and a tee? I feel like there's so many art directors out there that I like already admire. And I'm like, yo, I just want to do something with like jeans and t-shirts and athletic gears. Like, and I'll be like realized <laughs> in a way in a particular set like here I was thinking of these these jackets not these jackets but like yeah like these like outerwear jackets right with like the bottom being this like see-through you know see-through chest piece like to me that was so it was just like so fire so one day I'm gonna get a sewing machine. I could do it, you know, I could just get a sewing machine and just do it myself. So, yeah. Got a couple ideals like that were inspired by these Ghani pieces. They're just like, I just love handcrafted material. And they're just simple. I think that's why Copenhagen, to me I like Copenhagen like furniture and um just city wear and just pieces because like they're just simple man like i don't know what about simple items to me are just like gorgeous it's like a couple more takes on footwear that i was um coming up with it i got something in my pocket Bruh, like, look at these gloves. Like, that's what I'm talking about, man. Like, Patagonia, bruh. Like, these gloves are crazy right now. It's like the ideals, the places you could take them. Like, that's wild. Like, couldn't even imagine. And they have, like, the little screen things, you know. But, yeah, like, the footwear ideals. I had a couple more that I want to do. Like... Like, this is a, like, these shoes are just, like, like, the first shoes that I learned to, like, to really start skating in are these shoes, and they really, I feel like they were, they're, like, some of the best-looking Adidas that I've, I've seen, and I was, like, yo, like, take that and, and dip them in, like, the, the plastic bottoms. Like that would be just I'm never like I've never seen that, you know. Or maybe just put like the the UGG bottom on them. Like to me, like that's like an ideal. I'm like whoa, like that's that's amazing. I don't know where I got that concept from. Like, I feel like just like spitting something just original sometimes. And then these shoes, I feel like if I was ever gonna like do a Nike collab, like. These ones with these, like, I don't know what they're even called, bro. Like, I want to call them moccasins, like, but they're like the Japanese shoes, like, with the the tabbies. Yeah. <laughs> like, the tabbies are just, like, like so I'm, I'm not, I'm just an artist, bro. Like, they're, to me, I would combine them with the Presto Bottoms. And like create a whole nother like bottoms to them, but they have like the athletic elevatedness, but at the same time they're still like that, like that fire. Centuries upon centuries of just like perfect ingen ingenuity in a shoe, or like the the, the New Balance, like that would be sick to put the New Balance, but to put a like British flag in there and like an American flag. You know, of course, like an Ethiopian flag or something to, like, get the whole, you know, tradition down. 
Like to me, that would be the that would be ill. Or like these Jordans that you know that have been in the box too long. Like find a way to like see through them with plastic and put that in there because you know it's like it's like the air, but like the environment, you know. And what are we gonna do to take care of it in a way? Also, these like Converse's, like it'd be super sick just to change the bottom, put a more athletic bottom on the bottom of them, you know, because it's 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 an update, it's update season sometimes. So like, let's just like find different mixtures. But yeah. Also, this uh, I got like the outerwear, you know, like trying to trying to spruce it up a little bit and like maybe put like a. A sweater on the inside or like a sweater like on the like on the outside to or maybe even this material on the outside would make it just like would just be a different piece I just thought about and I was like oh like that might be it might be it's kind of sick private friend also tote bags like like I said like I had made one that was like cut from a hoodie so I was like yo like that'd be cool to have a tote bag from a hoodie but like the envelope bags are just like it's like the the shape that I'm going for versus like this one was was pretty like just like the envelope bags or maybe even like the the tote bags that are like cut from different materials but like I feel like that would that is something that I'm definitely also like furniture like when I was out in LA like I tried to get a couple jobs like doing furniture and stuff and it was like it was impossible but furniture man and like just items just products in general but like furniture is something that like I've been like investing in maybe because I just sit sit around a lot but it's just definitely um it's just definitely something that I'm just like I'm I'm just I'm like I'm focused on like one day doing like look at these looks you know like Miller Knoll like they're just a, a awesome company that I'm trying to get in on I I you guys know about the IKEA man like I go to IKEA everywhere I go but yeah man just that Copenhagen vibe to me is just like clean What's up with Ben Simmons going to the Met Gala, bro? Like, yo, if Ben Simmons got invited, like, yo, what's up? What's up, man? Like, how? What do you have to do? Yo, I, I could sit on, I could sit on an NBA bench like it's nothing, man. Come on, like, yo, that I figured I do. Let's see if they're open. Are they open? Are they open? Yo, you know the best part right now about like being single? It's like, like social media, bro. It's just like, you can do whatever, man. Like I remember like creating art with somebody who's like, you know, who has a different like view of the world and like creation. Like it's so hard. Like you create something like they're like insecure about it. They're like second guessing why you made it and all this other stuff like it's just cool to be able to release stuff and like see if your fans like it you know like rather than like your family or i'm so far removed i don't even think about if my family likes stuff i'm just like yo like if they want to be in it they could be in it if not you know it's just like but to like even scroll and like i could like you couldn't like whoever's picture you want to like at any point in time because you're like single but like the moment you're in a relationship, bro, it's like it totally changes, bro. It totally switches, and you know you're you're focused on one person. You know, like you guys are making stuff happen. But right now, it's just cool just to be able to do whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you know something that's like crazy about TikTok? Not TikTok, but something that's crazy about um instagram versus like youtube 
Like, there are people on YouTube who have full-fledged careers as couples. Like, maybe it's her channel or it's, like, eh, yeah, or his channel. But, like, it becomes, like, a couple channel. A couple's channel. And it's just, like, at some point, you know, it doesn't become weird. Or, like, you have, like, this couple who's, like, cool with being on camera. But, like, on Instagram, I feel like anytime you overpost a person on Instagram, it's, like, you start losing your cool. You're like, oh, this person likes me too much or all that stuff. It's crazy how it works. You know, like, I think if you find a, a YouTube person versus, like, an Instagram person, like, you found, like, a, a butt buddy sort of relationship. Like, like, you found something that's, like, Yeah, like you, like you, you found your pen pal, bruh. Like Instagram, you know, you're, you're not even my girl if you're in my Instagram. Sometimes that's what it feels like, right? Like, yo, because you can't post them every day. You cannot post your girlfriend every day. It's like some weird, like, I love Lucy sort of thing, bruh. Like, you cannot like your chick on Instagram. Like, you gotta like your life. You gotta be shitting on people as much as possible. On Instagram, on YouTube, man, it's like, yo, welcome to my life. This is how I'm living on, on BET. But, yeah. But, yeah, man, so it was a good test run. Let's call this uh, Chill With Me 001. Maybe I'll do it to 100, do 100 of these and... You know, call it a series or something. But yeah, thanks for chilling with me today. And um, yeah, maybe next time we'll talk about some more stuff. You know, um, other chapters down, games coming on. And I'm pretty sure Boss is gonna, you know, bring their A game. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, look up a couple more pictures on IG, post a couple more pictures, but yeah, man, thanks for chilling with me, see you guys soon, peace.